Guthrie here coming to you from East Nashville, Tennessee. I uh, just want to say hi to you guys on this Sunday morning. Uh, about to run and have a little coffee meeting. Uh, then I've got a rehearsal with John Oates at 1 o'clock with Steve Mackey and Josh Day. We're going down to Florida to do some kind of private uh, event uh, or a festival or something like that. Uh, then um, I think I might have a lesson this afternoon, but a nice full Sunday, busy weekend. Did a guitar immersion experience yesterday with a guy. Uh, got one tomorrow, um, and then I've got my gig tomorrow, starting Americana Fest. Taj Mahal is at uh, the Basement East on the 14th for his 80th birthday celebration. That's going to be a blast. Um, no extra charge for mistakes. I started this video, which I only have a minute. I was realizing that I didn't have a pick up here for some reason, and so uh, I was using my fingers. I smashed my thumb in the car door about a month and a half ago, and this thing is like... Um, I played the next night. It was a Sunday, like today, and uh, I had to play Monday night at the Underdog. And uh, I was like, man, I slammed it so hard on my car door that it it shut all the way. It latched, and I had to un uh, do. I had to pull it open with the handle. The thumb was in there. I was like, man, I had to have broken it. I knew it was just smashed. And then, man, for some reason, didn't hurt the next day. I put it in some ice. I was next to the Urban Cowboy, and I went in the bar to say hi to a friend of mine. And, and I said, man, I just slammed my thumb in the car door and he goes dude here's a big bucket of ice so I stuck it in the ice I'm sitting there talking to my friends I just got done walking and, and this girl walks up she goes hey what what's going on I said well I just slammed my thumb in the car door I said I think I might have broken it and I said it's I'm just sticking it in some ice and she went outside to the outside bar and brought in like two or three shots of tequila I was like oh okay nice so anyway um getting back to this I the, you know that I, I must say that um the, uh, the, the, the information that I might go into in these little mini lessons teasers here is it might not have anything to do with the intro bit that I play. I'm just sitting down here, guys, in this little room and, and playing something that I think is, is, you know, maybe has any worth or needs to even be on a video. So I'm going freestyle completely here. You know, sometimes it might be a cohesive idea. Sometimes it might just be a little improv rambling like I did just a second ago. So um, just my Dano Castor Telly through my old Princeton Reverb. Um, man, I slept funny on my back. That's killing me. Um, but anyway, so the, the Princeton Reverb, um, volume's on like two and a half for these videos. You know, really low volume. Treble's on about four and a half. Bass is on about three and a half. And the reverb is on about three. So, you know, that's... <laughs> Alright, 
right, so uh, what I was going to show you today, real quick here, because I know I got I to gotta get going, but I want to do this. Um, so out of the G shape, if I'm playing in the C, you know, C chord, up in this G shape, right? I think I, um, which was I going to, no, it was the, it was the C shape I wanted to show you. So if I'm in E, let's rewind. If I'm in E, and let's get to the, I like to use this part of the fingerboard because I got more to work with. So if I'm in the C shaped E chord, here's E, here's the D shape, here's the C shape. No extra charge for being out of tune either. Uh, right here. So the goal of the cage system is to where we can, you know, we can see these, you know, all these movable, usable pieces and all the notes. They're in all these five shapes, all 12 notes. So whatever we, we can play any lick in any of these shapes. It's just a matter of working it out, finger, fingering, right? So if I'm here, here's my bro broken down triads. Here's my E, G, uh, D, G, and B string. Here's my 4A out of that big shape, the E shape A chord. Here's my B, the, the G shape B, the E sh shaped A, the C shaped E. The shapes, the C shape and G shape, that, that really is just confusing to me. I mean, it's just, it's that's the shape that it is, but it has no relevance to uh, the C, A, G. It just spells out cage. It could be symbols that we're dealing with here. It's just the pattern, right? So try to look at it like that. So so here's my triad, this, the E, the A, the B, because there's my G shape B chord. There's my A. There's my. So there you go. So there's the one, the four, the five, the one. All right. So watch. So if I'm playing, I got all this information right there in that one. Just hammer it on here, from here. That insinuates the A. Right here. That insinuates the B. So there's your target notes with the bass note under that. Right, so. Stuff here because I don't have a lot of time, 
But you see, like, the just the breaking down this these triads. Four five and the the uh, C shaped E chord, E shaped A chord, B shaped uh, uh, G shaped B chord, and you're playing out of right right out of these triads. the C major, I mean C, uh, E major. I just woke up, friends, so I'm just, you know, a little out there, but. So if I get here. The, the uh, E major scale. Ending on that, B insinuates playing over the five chord. Watch this. Those little harmonies. B, B7, E. Right, can you see that? Um, I'm stealing from keeping it in this hand position. Okay, I sl slid up to the A shape. Hope you got something out of that little trick. Mainly this B7 is what I wanted to show you. There's the notes, the turnaround. Right? But if I do the chord, the chord is just holding down the notes. I mean, single notes, chords, it's the same exact shape. are not just for rhythm guitar single notes are not lead guitar it's chords and everything's the same it's all the same so let's try to keep that in focus uh, i had a great like i said i had a great guitar immersion experience yesterday and one tomorrow those are coming in uh really nicely um don't forget uh please subscribe to the channel i'm trying to hit sixty thousand. i said six thousand last time it's sixty thousand. i'm trying to hit um uncle larry's back in town so we're going to get back in the studio soon uh, I'm still working on a few projects. It's been busy, guys. A lot going on. America, uh, Americana Fest starts tomorrow. Billy Gibbons is back in town. We're going to hang some with him. Um, just rocking on. Everything's good. Trying to stay in shape. Um, round as a shape. Uh, and so uh, stay in touch. Check out the links below. P thanks so much for the tip jug. Please visit the tip jug if you're inclined to. Uh, that means a lot and keeps me motivated. And uh, knowing that you guys appreciate this, like I always say, uh, for the price of a beer or a nice cup of coffee, you can change my whole week. So appreciate it. Check out the private lessons, Artist Works. There's new updates there, new content there. Um, that's been going like gangbusters. And the guitar immersion experiences. I've got four different tiers of private lessons. Virtual, Skype and Zoom, in-person in Nashville, uh, half day immersion experience, full day immersion experience. And so uh, check that out. Thank you guys so much. I know this is a short video. I think I always say that and they're the longest, 
But um, anyway, thanks, guys. Sorry I got to run. I'll be in touch. I might send some footage from this Oats rehearsal uh, here at 1 o'clock. And then uh, I look forward to hearing from you all soon. All right. Bye. Oh, I know. I, I've, I've hung with him, and I know he's, he's just like one of the funniest people in the world. Yeah. But um, I, I also love his plans. Is Rob Ike's uh, the Dobro player? Yeah. 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 There, he, he, I mean, and Trey Hensley's, he's ridiculous, man. He's got a I missed him when they were in the John, say hi to the YouTubers real quick. Hey, YouTubers. <laughs> How you doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> Some official John Oates settings. Well, I'm checking my settings. Man. I'm checking taking, the settings. taking a picture of my settings. Check because, your settings twice. Because I'm going to be using a, a, a rental amp, and when I get there, I have no idea if it's going to be any good or not, but hopefully. Yeah, and sometimes you get lucky. Give me a place to start, right? Yeah, sometimes you get lucky with those backline deluxe reverb reissues. Depends on uh, what punk band played through the night before. <laughs> That's right. He trashed in the night before. Right. You know what's weird? We, we have never really played together since it, for 30 years you and jay yeah i mean at his house yeah we've never done another game together that's, that's uh, crazy. i hate to interrupt you guys say hi to the youtubers for us youtubers yeah. the great the steve under, mackey the, that's the steve mackey right there the underdogs is that what you call them yeah the underdogs the dog pound <laughs> say hi to josh day we've got the, hey, the, the john oates good road band back together today Young Tom helping me. And Josh, tell us a little bit about those goat hooves down there that you got. Well, these are they, these are these are really just just nails. They're these are llama, to be honest. Oh, they're llama yeah. nails. Yeah, these yeah, they llama. Came from my farm in Colorado. Exactly. <laughs> do they, John do, clipped them himself. Do they have to? Yeah. Do you have to file those or paint yeah, them? I, I haven't done anything to them. And I, as, no as far manicuring. As I know, also, as far as I know, no llamas were injured. Anymore. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever eaten it? Is llama good? Can you eat llama? I've never I, seen llama on, I don't any, know. on any John, menus. John, John's a guy right now. John, can you eat llamas? <laughs> you know I would eat my own llamas? Okay. Speaking of animals, <laughs> there's the snake skin. This just got weird. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Thanks a bunch. We got to go.